Hello, in this video I'll show you how to add a fade-in effect basically to a container, but to the full container, to the whole container, to the container itself, uh, basically the background, and to its contents. So not just the background, not just the background will fade in, but the contents as well. And I'll show you how it's done, how it's done in general, how to make that animation work, uh, and obviously how to make this specific thing work. Uh, now what I mean by the whole container, you can see right here, I will refresh it, right? You see, now it's only the background. See, the background fades in, it does work, but the button and the word is already there, so it doesn't really work as a fade in. Now let's see at another example uh, where the whole thing will fade in. So if I refresh now with this example, you see right here, the whole thing will fade in. The whole thing. See, the button, the word, everything will fade in together. So, let's get uh, to the code. Uh, we are in Visual Studio, which is just a basic HTML project. And in the HTML project, we have one tiny little div. Right here we have the div, right? The div is the container, and the div has a class. Now, inside the div, we have one paragraph with the text, and we also have a paragraph with the button. So, we also have the main div, which is the class, right? The class, and for that we have the background color black. So you might think, you might think that in order to fade in, you need to go from uh, basically zero opacity black background to 100%. But that's not really how it works. You can do that, but that was done in the first example. Now right here in the keyframes, I'll explain that later, in the keyframes, you see we have this commented background. This is basically something that's see-through completely. And on the 100%, it goes through, goes to rather real black, full black, right? So 100% opacity. But that is only on the background. In order to make this work for the whole uh, the container, you have to use opacity, opacity use opacity, go from 0 to 100, right? This is how you do it. Now, let me explain how the animations work. If you didn't know, this will be a great quick start to that. Uh, so, right here we have a class, main div, right? And everything in this class will be applied to that div. Uh, that's quite simple, basic CSS, right? Uh, we have background color, we have color, which is white. And then we have width and height just so we can have a bigger canvas. Now, the animation goes into animation. But the animation you need to sort of establish in order to make it sort of proper custom animation. In this case, we are using main div animation, which is defined as a keyframe. So you can define several of these keyframes and use it on several different classes. You can definitely do that. Uh, you see the keyframe is defined with add sign when you write keyframes and then you name it and then in there you do from and to from and to it will go from that initial value to that final value and it will do it gradually and you define that right here with four seconds. Now, there are more parameters, but I don't really want to get into much into the animations. Uh, but you have four seconds, you have ease in, so this is basically how it will happen. And then you have forwards. This is again how it will happen. But basically, what you really have to know is that you can do keyframes and then use it in the animation. So you can go from one size to the other size, you can do font sizes, you can do widths and heights, uh, lots of different things. But specifically, how to make the container, the whole container fade in, you must use opacity. There is no other way to accomplish it properly because as you have seen in my example, the background color does not work. Now, if you're interested in this, I do have a brand new course, a very large and very slow paced course. This is for C sharp developers. You can get started with Blazor, API development, uh, SQL Server, also a bit of HTML and CSS. It's all in one 
course, one simple course. It is a slow paced course. Uh, it's not a quick course, so it is quite slow paced over 10 hours, over 11 hours at this moment, and uh, probably more will be added. So do check out that course. Also check out my Blazor course, my API development course with C Sharp. Uh, uh, lots of different things you can check out. Also, my quick start with HTML and CSS here on YouTube, completely free. Do take a look at that um, and do subscribe to this channel.